All right, you're right. It's okay if you're still working through some questions. I think as a class, we've gotten far enough that we can have a bit of a discussion about these together. We've got some working to start with and then we'll do the rest of it together. I think we should be able to manage that. So let's start with question one. Now I haven't read these carefully, so I don't know if these are right or not. But one of the great things is, even if there are some mistakes here, we'll be able to learn from those. So let's have a look at number one. We've got an answer of 57. Did anyone else get 57 on that question? Okay, lots of hands up, which is either very reassuring or very unsettling if we're all wrong. Okay, so that happens, by the way. Lots of people can be wrong in the same way, but let's check it out, shall we? What I particularly want to focus on for all of you, you're all going to help me, except for the person who wrote this on the board, because I know they know what this means, but the rest of us should be able to work out what he is thinking by looking at his working. So let's have a look. Top line. What is this, by the way? Sorry, I actually mean the whole top line. What is the whole top line? That's just the question, okay? And I always find it really helpful for me to write out the question to begin with. You wouldn't believe the number of times students do fantastic working. It's all correct, except it's not the question that was actually asked, okay? Does that look good? Yep. So we've got bottomers here, which is really helpful. So that tells us to do what first? The brackets, right? So we've got this part in here. So someone with their hand up want to tell me, where does that come in the next line? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I'll repeat it. So we're doing brackets first. When the brackets are evaluated, where do we see that appear in the next line? What am I, the teacher, looking for here? Which part am I focusing on? It's right here in this multiplication. Do you agree? That's where the 13 take away a equal 5. One of the great things about working out is it should be a little bit like peering inside someone's brain. If someone looks at your book, in fact, I'd like you to do this right now. Look at your partner, the person you're sitting next to or near you. Look at their working right now. I imagine theirs looks similar, but maybe it looks different. If you can't work out what they're thinking by looking at their working, there's some working that's missing. Okay, it doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means there's some pictures that I don't understand. All right, so... Then we go next. Anyone want to put their hand up and tell me what I should do after that or what this working is done? Yes, go ahead. Great. So I can see multiplication or division right here. Is 5 times 11 55? Yes. Cool. Both the 5 times tables and the 11 times tables are both really nice. So I'm really happy with that. And I guess that's why so many of us got 57. Excellent. Okay. Any questions on that so far? Great. Let's have a look at question two. Someone tell me before we start to do the working, I'll write down the question. What's the first thing that I should do? Which operation should I be looking at? Yeah, go ahead. Um, you should do five times in brackets Five times minus three. Now, by the way, if you have someone in your family who's like a really picky math teacher, they'll tell you that that's negative three. It's like the difference between an adjective and a verb. Minus is when you do something. An adjective is when you've got, like negative, is when you've got a quality or an attribute, right? But I know we often colloquially say minus three, that's fine, okay? So when we do that first, what do we get? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, 15. 15. All right, so there's a double negative there, right? Which is always a bit tricky, but we are going to indeed get 15, which gives us a final answer of? 29. Fantastic. Okay, happy times. Let's have a look over at this one. I'll do this one a bit quicker because I think you've had some time to read it. Are we happy with this answer here? Yeah. Mostly yes, but like I said before, just because an answer is right, that doesn't mean our reasoning is also sound. So we should check it out. First line to second line. What's going on in here? Someone want to give me a suggestion. What are you seeing in the working? Someone who hasn't said anything yet. Yeah, I think you had your hand up. What are you seeing? Yeah, yeah. Yep, these brackets have just appeared, right? So the brackets just kind of highlight what we're doing next. So 18 divided by 3, does that equal 6? Yeah. Cool, thumbs up with that. 6 times 2 is the next thing we're going to do, and then we get the right answer. Are you happy? Yeah. Okay, now this last one here, it's a bit longer, and there's lots of negatives flying around. So I'm going to write down the question, and that'll give you a bit of thinking time while I catch up to you. A trained professional would have written this first. Okay, there we go. So we've got both parentheses and square brackets here, just so you can sift them apart. What do you think we should do first? You should do the inner brackets first, so you should do 7 take away 10 times negative 6. 
Okay, fantastic. So those inner brackets give us that negative three right there, seven take away 10, where we've been using integers, directing numbers for a little bit. That's what we're gonna multiply by negative six. Can someone tell me, we just did this a couple of questions ago. What's this gonna give us in the brackets? Yeah, front row. 18. 18, excellent. Those double negatives again are canceling. And then can we say it all together, final answer? 62. Awesome, okay, happy times. Would you please rule that off? Well done.